let us get acquainted about RNA editing. RNA editing mainly refers to change of a nucleotide in messenger RNA, which is ready for translation purpose. So RNA editing is alteration of the nucleotide sequence of a messenger RNA molecule after transcription and before translation. So it is of two types. The first one is substitution editing in which the individual nucleotide is changed. And in other case, like the second one, insertion or deletion editing may be there. In case of insertion editing, an individual nucleotide is extra added in the messenger RNA. And in case of deletion editing, uh, a nucleotide is deleted from the messenger RNA. So this RNA editing occurs in the nuclear genes as well as in the organelle genes like those RNA molecules which can be synthesized into a protein and are available in mitochondria or chloroplast may also experience this phenomenon. So mitochondria and chloroplast transcripts also experience RNA editing. Now we can understand the entire phenomenon by going through this diagram. See the upper double stranded structure, this one is a DNA molecule. And suppose its lower strand is synthesized into a pre-RNA which gets properly processed and becomes messenger RNA. Now this RNA has to be processed. And if we go through the nucleotide sequence from its 5' prime end, we find AUG, suppose this one is the initiator codon, followed by another codon, UUC, then GC, G. So nucleotides are like this. And here this U, this U needs change, means it is actually fourth codon, UUG, and this middle one, U, needs change. It has to be uh, substituted by A, suppose a kind of substitution editing has to occur over here. So this needs actually uh, replacement and from uh, U to A change has to be there. So for this change, a guide RNA is required along with several enzymes which will actually assist in the process of cutting uh, and removing the nucleotide and adding the required one over there. So guide RNA is required and if you observe the sequence of this guide RNA, it will have its complementary, you know, base sequence uh, of this messenger RNA, it means complementary bases are there which will match with the messenger RNA. So it will be matching with messenger RNA and then the substitution editing will occur over there. And since it also contains U, now in the edited messenger RNA, here A will be replaced. So uh, this way editing will be accomplished. Now in this figure, you can see that uh, the uh, upper one, you see this is guide RNA, a small RNA molecule which shows complementary pairing with the messenger RNA that will actually bind uh, with the messenger RNA and then uh, a number of enzymes will um, and proteins will get bound to this site and all these are referred as editosome complex. So such enzymes will actually help to remove the nucleotide of uh, messenger RNA or they will either you know help in substitution of a nucleotide or insertion of a nucleotide or deletion of a nucleotide. So it will depend that what sort of RNA editing is taking place. Now we can uh, understand this aspect uh, by considering a particular example. Uh, see there is a protein, apolipoprotein B. Okay, apolipoprotein B. And uh, it's one type that is apolipoprotein 100 uh, plays very important role in moving cholesterol around our body. It is a kind of uh, low density lipoprotein, LDL protein, and mutation in the gene of this protein uh, coding 
portion in the DNA uh, that is that causes familial hypercholesterolemia means the cholesterol level will be very high in such individual if mutation is there in the DNA molecule of this gene. Now there is another and this you know particular protein is synthesized in the liver. Now there is another protein apolipoprotein B48 which is synthesized in the intestine. So apo B48 is synthesized in intestinal uh, region and that possesses 48% portion initial portion of amino acid very much similar to apo B100. So we can say that there is a single mRNA uh, from which this apo B100 is synthesized and the same mRNA uh, after editing can be used for the synthesis of apolipoprotein B48. Let us see how such kind of uh, you know things are actually uh, taking place. Suppose this is DNA and this DNA has its gene apoB gene. So suppose this is apoB gene and from this after transcription the mRNA is synthesized. This is pre-mRNA. It will be uh, processed into a proper messenger RNA molecule and inside the liver this messenger RNA uh, will not be experiencing RNA editing at all means no change will be taking place in liver cells. As a result of that apolipoprotein B100 is synthesized and in case of intestinal cells it experiences RNA editing and what happens it's one of the codons that is CAA that due to editing changes into UAA and you know that UAA causes a stop or uh, you know termination of the protein synthesis. So CAA that encodes for glutamine and uh, this amino acid will not be coming uh, to the polypeptide chain because it has already been changed into UAA and as a result of that the protein synthesis will stop at that point. So a shorter uh, you know polypeptide chain is synthesized. It will have just uh, initial 48 amino acid exactly similar to apo lipoprotein B100 and that is why it is referred as apo B48 protein. It is quite short than the protein which is being synthesized in liver. So you can see that uh, this kind of change occur in the type of protein. Same mRNA molecule, one is actually processed uh, or it is undergoing editing process and because of that a short uh, you know protein is being synthesized and if it is not experiencing editing at all then a different kind of protein is being formed. So uh, this way RNA editing that takes place with some of the messenger RNA.